go. Um, today we're just going to talk with briefly about um, his experiences um, at the court and how we were able to help him. Now, uh, in this case, we didn't actually have to... You're not allowed to say... It's... Are you allowed to? There's lots of... Okay, yeah. Oh, okay, no, no, go back, rewind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, go. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> I'm just going to talk with me and um, just about his experiences. Um, Hang on. <laughs> go. Um, anyway, today we're talking with Jack um, and we're just going to uh, go briefly over how uh, we were able to help him um, with his uh, court case. Um, in Jack's case, we didn't have to actually, you know, uh, fully push the perspective of the uh, embassy. We were able to easily deconstruct the police's case um, just just on normal law because it was pretty, pretty useless thing, to be honest. They were pretty... They were pretty underhanded and it was easy to expose. So anyway, um, basically, um, in the beginning, uh, what happened was when we first ran into Jack, he was he was having a bit of trouble and um, it was just a, just, just a weird matter. And um, what happened was, you know, basically, Jack had a bit of trouble with, in his town with the uh, local law enforcement bureau. They were uh, upset at him for... Um, growing Rolua, so uh, yeah, he called us, and you know, in in the beginning, Jack was pretty distraught. Okay, okay, so show us your foot, Jack, so we know that you're there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so what happened? Um, so they busted me, yeah. and then they basically the corruption of it. They tried to set me up with um, growing, and then also supply as well. Planted money in my in my house that wasn't actually mine, and just the whole way they went about the search warrant and everything about the case was all was all corrupted basically. And you were pretty uh, freaked out about it in the beginning, eh? Because they, you know, you'd been to see a lawyer, and the lawyer's only recommendation was to plead guilty. Plead guilty straight away, and, and throw yourself on the mercy of the court. Yeah, they said it worked on a point system, and if I plead guilty early, it'll look better, and then. I went that way with the lawyer, got the sentencing, and they were going to fucking throw the book at me. Yeah. So it didn't go the way that the lawyer said. No. Um, there was no points. He was just looking at jail. Here's the other thing. Okay. So Jack had told the lawyer about the money. Yeah. So yeah. do you want to explain what happened? Um, so I said to the lawyer that it wasn't actually, in fact, my money. And, uh, that was found. That was found. He offered you to get it back, didn't he? And the lawyer asked me, well, we'll push, push for it and we'll get your money back to you. So I sort of agreed with it to put the middle finger up to the cops and be like, you know, I've got something back off them. But being too honest, I just I just had to tell the lawyer the truth and tell it wasn't my money. And uh, she basically... What was her advice after you said that? She said, well, we won't follow up with it. But, um, still go guilty, she said. Yeah, yeah, still go guilty. And so when I came along, I realised that uh, in the um, in the rules to do with prosecutions, it suggests that it's improper to uh, put a heavier charge on someone in order to get them to plead to a lighter charge. So I kind of brought that up, and I brought up the fact that the money was planted and that it had been fingerprinted, and we needed to know the result, and that. Um, Jack had the right to uh, rescind his plea of guilty all the way up until the point he was otherwise dealt with. So he was at the guilty stage and he was about to go to trial when... No, no, he was about to go to jail. Oh, oh he was at sentencing and then you contacted us, eh? Yeah, and then Fucking so lucky. I was, uh, using um, Section 115 of the Criminal Procedures Act, I was able to uh, extricate or vacate that plea for him, help him vacate his plea. Yeah. And then we went back to the start and then I brought up the issues in the uh, execution of the search warrant and the fact that they had disabled his cameras and then they also planted money and there was a couple other things that created a large shadow on uh, the conduct of the police in this case and within 
two weeks of trial, they decided to uh, pull the charges. And we got the email saying uh, that the police pro prosecutor would like to drop the case yeah, to, before it goes to trial. But it took us three times going to yeah, court was, because here's... They, they really didn't want it. Here's one of the things you've got to explain. When people do go guilty, well, first of all, you should never say guilty, right? If I'll you're, explain why. Because yeah. if, you go, if you choose the guilty option, what happens then is you accept the facts as they are laid. Always put in a fight, hey? Well, I mean, it's, otherwise the court doesn't get to hear your side of the story. Even your mitigation doesn't count against the facts. The facts are pled as, at, at the beginning, as guilty, so you accept the facts. So there's no mitigating yourself really from that. So if you even, oh, they tr what they do, that's how you can tell it's a corrupt system, because the truth is that you should get in just as much trouble for pleading guilty when you're not guilty yeah. as you should for pleading not guilty when you are guilty. Now why do the lawyers always say, we have customers say, oh, the lawyers said go guilty and they still charge them 30000 it's, it's a cash thing, okay? So bang, guilty plea, they've done their thing, all they do is put in mitigation, which they is put no work in, eh? character reference, yeah. You know, there's no, no work, no meat in the trial. There's nothing like how we did it and we pulled the thing. But it gives some also. advice about what legislation anyway, to look at. Okay, you always look at any legislation. Uh, if you're MPI thing, you look at the uh, um, Wildlife Act, Fishing Act, you know, all those sorts of things. And in the, you've, you've What got about a, weed? We, the most customers are weed people, well, right? Well, the problem is that um, with the weed thing, you've been fooled in the first place. Um, weed's not illegal, okay, but not having a permit for it is. So when you have a look at your charges, it actually says, did cultivate without permit. Yeah, so we, we can just permit. make you the weed card and that should act as a permit, but you've got to know what to say. Anyway, let's just hear from how happy uh, Jack is now. Yeah, are you happy, Jack? Oh, yeah, I mean, my life was turned upside down. I mean, you know, trying to send me to jail, lose my job, I would have lost everything, you know. And now, for them to drop the case, you know, they're trying to say insufficient evidence, you know, this goes to show how corrupt the, the system really is. And so if you if you just apply yourself and you look, you'll find your own mistakes in your own cases. Okay, you know, a lot of people come to us and say, we've been treated unfairly and we've been treated unjustly. You've got to get all the stuff and you'll be able to find your way through if you be smart about it. Okay, just actually don't give up. A lot of the time people just give up. They, they freak decided. out. Yeah. So fear causes people to, to be in paralysis. People can't think when they're frightened. Okay. okay? The first thing that happens is, um, your limbic system activates and it puts hormones into your body, your viscera drains of blood and it pumps to your muscles and then your limbic system takes over and your cerebral cortex and shuts And then your down. prefrontal cortex shuts down. Yeah, yeah, because it's not necessary in fight or flight response. Yeah, so only freaks like me and Peter enjoy being in court. Oh, well, we've, <laughs> we've learned to use that adrenaline rush. I really enjoy the opportunity to speak to the judge, but the other people freak yeah. out. Yeah, a lot of people. I don't... I, I find it distasteful, not because I'm frightened of it or anything, but because I see it as being a big machine that's designed to mince up people and spit shit out the other end. Okay, Monica likes it because in there she gets to wield her power and. and I have a nice. And, it's nice know, and relaxing because I get a I get a break from talk, the office. Talk, or... <laughs> have a coffee yeah. i just love it and i really i just love that christchurch court building it's so fancy yeah well it's ours one day <laughs> but anyway yeah so and, and you can help with that yeah so um yeah that's it pretty that's much it. that's it yep. anything else you want to say yeah that, that we're awesome and don't stuff don't even get a lawyer learn learn the common law and everything yourself yeah and uh thanks very much to peter and uh monica and the Māori Rangers for helping me out. It's changed my life. Yay! Thank you. Bye. Um, I just think people will just be fascinated about how far down the rabbit hole I actually was. Right at sentencing, being sentenced, and then telling them that I wasn't going to take it. And I want to fire my lawyer and vacate my plea because this is absolute bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. It was right at the day. Uh, you were like, I was D-Day. You were, you were yeah. down... On the blooming uh, chopping block, you know, really take your head <laughs> and off. And you basically. still won yeah, because there is a way. There's always a way until you're in jail. There's always a way to revert. Yeah, yeah. Just fight Do never out. give up, guys. Believe in what, what you. Hey, yeah. 
even if you don't know fancy words, just use normal words to the best of your capacity. Yeah, eh, Pete? Your yeah. And, and it looked yeah. like a casual um, weed case, eh? Yeah. But then when we looked into it, there was yeah. so much corruption. So it was really easy. We didn't even have to push the um, embassy or anything like that. It's because the cops dropped the case. Yeah, but they were lying anyway, okay? And they had done stuff that wasn't uh, very good, so it was pretty easy to deconstruct Police misconduct. Their, yeah, deconstruct their case anyway. So anyway, we're going to talk to them. Okay. I was just going to leave them and then, you know. Now you've ruined the video. No, because we'll no, edit it. No, 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 no. Just Pete. Uh, anyway, it's good for the video. I don't need to say too much. Yeah, so basically he was pretty upset and uh, disturbed in the beginning, which is what I, where I was getting to.